Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Constance Mullipus. I am a program officer with OCLC Research, and um, I want to give you all a very warm uh, welcome. We're really delighted to have uh, more than 120 people here on site in Dublin for our uh, Regional Print Management Right Scaling Solutions Symposium. We've got a really great program of uh, panelists and speakers, and we're uh, eager to get this underway. Um, I am happy that we have uh, Chip Nilgis, our Vice President for Business Development, to offer a few welcoming remarks from OCLC, the broader enterprise. Uh, Chip has been a real stalwart in advancing shared print within the OCLC enterprise. He's been very much engaged with some external efforts, is very much up to speed in uh, on efforts in the broader community related to shared print and has been a real ally uh, within the organization for shared print. So um, with no further ado, I'd like to introduce Chip Nilgis. Uh, thank you for some welcoming remarks. So um, I'm Chip Nilgis, and I've been with OCLC for um, about 19 years. Since Skip Pritchard became our CEO, I'm known as the other IP. <laughs> So it's, it's, my, it's my pleasure to welcome you here to OCLC today, and uh, we're honored that you've decided to come here to meet with us. Uh, OCLC is your cooperative, and shared print is, uh, above all else, a cooperative uh, effort. Um, the library community has been talking about shared print since 1999, and if you need the reminder, I, I spent a few minutes this morning looking at what was going on in 99. So, um, Rocketbook was the first ebook reader who remembers Rocketbook. That was actually started in late 98. Net Library was started in about the same time frame. Uh, the highest grossing movie in 1999 was a Star Wars film. And uh, the Euro was introduced at that time. So it's been a while. Um, Paul Willis, the dean of libraries at the University of Kentucky, and Paul Gehrman, the University of um, uh, University Librarian at Vanderbilt University started discussing uh, shared print back in that time frame and a shared virtual storage project with their ACERL colleagues. In fact, as Rick Lug from SCS posted on his blog, Sample and Hold, about the same time last year, good people have been plowing fe the fields of shared print for even longer than I had realized. However, as we can see by the attendance at this meeting, the critical mass that is building through participation in projects like the CIC Project, West, A. Searle, projects in Michigan, and elsewhere in many other of the shared print programs, were now spurred to action as the library content supply chain shifts from print to digital, and projects like the Hathi Trust provide alternative sources for delivery of legacy print library collections. Let me take a moment to thank the CIC OSU Libraries, and OhioLink for collaborating with OCLC on this event, and our speakers for joining us today. I also want to take a moment to recognize Lorcan Dempsey and his team of talented research scientists for their groundbreaking work and thought leadership around this topic. I'm sure you've all read the research port reports produced by OCLC Research, print management at megascale and cloud sourcing research, research collections managing print in the mass digitized library environment. They can be considered required reading for anyone interested in this area. Constance, uh, Constance, Brian, who is, where is Brian? Where is, oh, there he is. There, Constance and Brian uh, and their colleagues authored these important works with, print, with the uh, input from many along with the, and, and along with the community developed print archives disclosure guidelines, which has informed OCLC's efforts to support shared print in WorldCat. I encourage you to think boldly during these two days and to leverage your cooperative while you are here to support your efforts. We're here to serve you. Please come speak with me, with Bill Carney, with Constance, Brian, Eric, or any of us if you have questions. Once again, welcome, and please enjoy your time together. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Kim Armstrong from the Committee on Institutional Cooperation, the CIC, and I'd like to add my welcome um, to all of those that have come before. I feel like this is a little bit like the Academy Awards where I'm going to talk about um, things that happened six months ago at a luncheon and you really just want to get on with the program, so I'll be brief here. Um, when OCLC and OSU teamed up to study the state of monographic collections across the CIC, there was great interest in our members to understand how we might best steward these resources. 
Print collections for us remain a vital component of research and scholarship, but as we've seen from a number of youth studies, it's no longer cost effective to continue to maintain and provide services from these collections in a highly distributed and highly redundant system. As the planning committee came together to build the program for today and tomorrow, it was clear that the Midwest region, or Chai Pits as we are known in mega region speak, um, could not operate. Yeah, exactly. It's glamorous, isn't it? I know. Could not operate. Uh, we couldn't operate independently with regard to the future of print monographs. Just as we've seen with the many and varied projects with shared print uh, uh, serials across the nation and beyond, the Midwest is but a node of important repositories um, being compiled to secure print for the future. Many of you are bringing your own expertise to share with us um, and to help us as we learn and inform our key decisions going forward. Most libraries today are members of multiple and overlapping consortia. Each provide programs and services designed to create efficiencies, achieve cost savings, and capitalize on shared expertise. The value of cooperation among libraries has been proven for more than a century. Just consider where we are here today and the mission of this organization. I believe consortia actually try to be not competitive, but complementary. And lately, in many cases, we've acted as super consortia, working across geographic regions and organizations to achieve uh, great, great work at a, of a common purpose. That's why we're so pleased to have a wide range of consortial participation in this program today. And we're going to hear about cooperative activities literally from sea to shining sea. We have Maine to California. We're all, all across the coast and the snowy Midwest, unfortunately. Um, the program's designed to be highly interactive, so we're going to expect your participation as we move throughout these programs, so we hope that you'll engage even from the audience um, with the speakers. They really are designed to question, to comment, to think about how we're all going to move forward collectively. And I will say um, this is an obligation, but it's also my great pleasure to thank all the people who worked to bring this event together. Thanks to Constance and Brian for a research project so compelling that it brought us all together today to Carla Strebe and Carol Diedrichs and all the great folks at Ohio State University Libraries who manage programmatic and logistical details. And I know they are delighted to showcase some of their great facilities on that campus. I hope you enjoyed the tours this morning, those of you who went. It's great spaces there. Thanks to our hosts, OCLC, and in particular, a long list of names here, Eric Childress, Karen Disbro, Melissa Rinsby, and Ricky Irway. Thank you to Gwen Evans and Ohio Link for their sponsorship and support. You guys will hear from Gwen tomorrow morning. We're delighted that we have such a big Ohio Link representation here. And finally, to my, to my colleagues at the CIC headquarters watching from afar, Suzanne Garrison in particular, for the tremendous work on the website and the programs. Now I'll turn the program over to Constance Malpas and Brian Lavoy from OCLC Research. They'll be sharing findings from their new report, Right Scaling Stewardship, a multi-scale perspective on cooperative print management. Suitable for showing here. It came out on Tuesday, so if you haven't had a chance to read it, and there are print copies, actually, some that are available. Thank you.